Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a nailed it or failed it Pinterest inspiration video for you. Now, as you can see, I've got all my bits and bobs out here. Um, I found this picture, which will show up on the screen now, of a wreath on Pinterest. And I loved it. I love the colors. I love the feel and the vibe for my Halloween this year. What I didn't like is the price tag. Um, and it's just not in my budget, but I have the link below to the um, Etsy store where you can buy it if that's what you would choose to do. I'm taking that piece and I'm using it as an inspiration to make my own similar wreath. Now, up in the corner here, you'll see the pieces before I spray painted, but this is just one of the bamboo wreaths from the Dollar Tree. I couldn't find the crow, but you know, I'm a black cat girl. So I took one of these from last year. I haven't seen them this year yet and spray painted it black. Then I took some Ofre ribbon and I made a bow. I'm terrible at bow making. So what I will do is put the picture or the link below of the video I watched to sort of learn how to make this bow. My bow looks nothing like their bow, but you know, it's a bow. And then I also purchased some of this thinner. Uh, this is Ofre as well in the purple and this is 5 eighths inch and you get 21 feet of it. So those are the ribbons. I left this much ribbon at the end of my bow to make a hanger for my front door. I did use some floral wire, but you could use chenille sticks. I also used wire cutters. Um, I have my lighter in case I want to fray, you know, like, you melt the end of my ribbon, your ribbon, and it keeps it from fraying. And then I just took some Dollar Tree green ferns. I think these were Dollar Tree, hard to tell. And I spray them white. They were green. I will tell you, be easy with the spray paint because it's taking forever for that to dry. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, and I also have my glue gun right here. So oh, I got a mess going on over here, guys. Got my glue gun out. And it's, oh, that's why. I'm like, why is it spidering everywhere? Eh, I got it on my watch cover. <laughs> so now my watch cover came off. My protector for my watch. I'll have to put a new one on. Okay, so let me just get everything out of our way. And what I've decided to do is do the purple wrapped around the wreath. And I also have decided by placing my cat where I want it, and the reason I want it specifically like in this spot is that it will stand up. There we go. It'll stand up and it has something to glue it to. So this here is my tippity top. And I'm just going to put a little blob of glue up there and attach this ribbon. Nothing major. I'm just going to wrap my ribbon around the wreath like this instead of doing tails and hanging down i didn't have enough of the purple wired ribbon and this is grogain and it will not like it's great for a lot of crafty items it will not hold its shape so it'll end up just hanging limply and we don't want that so i am just going around now you could glue it off here and there. I don't need to. This wreath has enough texture that it's not gonna bother it. And then I'm just gonna drop some glue again on the back side here and push it in and let it dry. And that's how I have the base of my frame or of my wreath. And that's how I'm gonna bring that purple color all the way around, and then I'll just put that away. Now, kitty cat needs to stand up, and that needs to happen so I know exactly where my middle piece is. And here it is where I have him standing, right? In this hole right there. Oops. So what I'm gonna do is glue up his little feet. 
No real cats were harmed in this project. But you definitely want a fair amount of glue. Then we're gonna stand it up and get him down in there. So he stands up nice and straight right there. Look at that, isn't that super? I'm gonna let all this dry for a minute. So I know he's good and then I'll be back to finish up. Right, everything is cooled and dried. Now the next thing I think I'm gonna do is attach this ribbon at the top, just so I know for my purposes where the center top is. And what I've done is I'm just lining it up with the cat at the bottom. And this is what I will use when I hang it. So I need it to be um, centered, right? Right. And then what I'll do, I'll show you after when I put the bow on it, but it will, um, I'll get the bow and that'll hold all this in place. This is just really setting it up where it needs to be. I'm not too worried how it looks because the bow is gonna hide it. Now, last, second to last step is let that do its thing, but we are going to start attaching these uh, fronds, right? We want them pretty full, pretty much out here. Now, here's my bow. I know it's going to go to about here on this side. So we'll just start up higher and then work our way down. And it's literally, I'm just attaching them one at a time. Now, you could have done this, like put the whole bush on there, but I didn't feel like for me that that was going to work. And then these things are pretty movie. I don't know where I got these, to be quite honest with you. They either came from like Hobby Lobby or they came from Dollar Tree. But either way, they were not expensive. And sometimes it's cheaper to buy a larger... Uh, bush they're called from like a Hobby Lobby opposed to going to Dollar Tree because you get more quantity if that makes sense like a larger a larger bush and here I'm just I'm building from the bottom up so you want to keep that in mind that like all this on the top will get covered. Ooh, that needs to get attached. It wasn't hot, just so you know. But I'll speed this up and just show you how I am attaching all of these. Oh, I'm trying to get the glue off my finger. All these fronds. And I did use wire nips for this step. All right, here we go. Okay, so I think that's enough of the ferns to go down. So right now what we're gonna do is attach this bow. Oops, turn my glue gun off. I don't need that anymore. And pick up all this glue. I left the wires, I used floral wire because I don't have any chenille sticks right now. But I decide what I want the top and bottom to be. Take this, I'm gonna go around, around here to attach this bow. And I want it to be straight as can be. I can fix the front, that's not an issue. All right. Then I wanna be careful back here. I don't want these metal, pieces to um, scratch my door. And then I'm just gonna fluff up this bow and fuss with it until I get it on my door. 
and then I will show you the finished product. But I am trying to get this even and straight as can be with the poor bow making that I did. My bow making skills are not well. <laughs> But it will hang like that, and I will show you when I hang it on the door, the finished product. But that's it. How easy was that, guys? Oh, and just so you know, this is a silicone mask applier from the beauty section of the Dollar Tree. It works great to um, push down on the... I'm still trying to get glue off my finger now. The pushing hot glue without burning your fingers. All right. We'll be at... Oh, friends, I love it. I think that is so perfect. I added a few more fronds at the top just to kind of balance it out a little bit, make it look a little fuller up here. And I am really enjoying this. And I feel like it's going to make my front porch look so different this Halloween. I want to go with this black and purple. I'm really into purple right now. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy DIY and you have a fantastic day. Bye.